Hi everyone. I want to invite the whole family to read through one of the Disney princess bedtime stories with me. This story is all about a very brave princess who will do anything to help her sister. Let's read Ariel and the Ghost Lights. Late one night, Ariel awoke to the sound of coughing. Her sister Andrina was sick. Ariel swam over to her sister. Is there anything that I can do to help? She whispered. Careful not to wake the others. Maybe get some night lily tea? Everyone knew that a freshly picked night lily was the best cure for a bad cold. You can't, croaked Andrina. The doctor hasn't been able to gather night lily for days. They said the flowers are guarded by a ghost. Ariel wasn't afraid of ghosts. Her sister needed that medicine and she was going to get it for her. Sneaking out of her room, Ariel went to find Flounder. Together, they took off to gather the night lilies. As they neared the edge of the kingdom, Ariel and Flounder saw a group of guards peering into the dark ocean. What are they looking at? Flounder asked. Shh, they'll hear you, whispered Ariel. Ariel wasn't supposed to leave the kingdom at night. If the guards saw her, they would make her go home. Suddenly, a group of small blue lights moved in the darkness. There they are, one guard said. The ghost lights, let's go take a look, said another guard. No, never get close to the ghost lights, said the first guard. They'll make you follow them and you'll be lost forever. You hear that, whispered Founder. Maybe we should go back. Ariel shook her head firmly. Don't be such a guppy, she said. Andrina needs us. Ariel pulled Flounder along by the fin, and they snuck past the guards. The lights bobbed and danced as they got closer. What do you think it is? asked Flounder. Is it an octopus? The lights moved and changed shape. It's a shark, Flounder cried. The little fish covered his eyes with his fins. Ariel laughed. Don't be silly. Sharks don't glow in the dark. But there's definitely something strange going on. Come on, let's take a closer look. As they approached the lights, Ariel and Flounder saw that they weren't one big creature, but a whole school of fish. Each fish was covered in glowing blue spots. Below them was a patch of night lilies. There they are, Ariel shouted. Come on, let's get them and go home. Ariel and Flounder were sneaking towards the flowers when a fish swam up to them. Can you help us? It cried. Are you going to make us follow you? Flounder asked the fish in a shaky voice. We don't want to be lost forever. What? Asked the fish. We're the ones who are lost. We're glowing toadfish. We belong near the shore. We've tried and tried to find our way back. But we always end up by these flowers. Ariel looked at the glowing blue fish. Then she looked at the glowing blue flowers. I know how to help, she said. Follow me. Ariel, Flounder, and a school of fish swam towards the surface of the ocean. From far away, the night lilies look like you, Ariel explained. That's why you keep swimming towards them. You think they're your family. She pointed up to the night sky. Just follow that bright star and you'll find the shore. The fish spun around and around Ariel in thanks. Then they swam off. Ariel and Flounder dove down to the night lily field. They picked as many flowers as they could carry. A few minutes later, the border guards saw what looked like two bright blue eyes racing out of the darkness at them. It's the ghost lights, they yelled. Don't worry, it's just me and Flounder, called Ariel. The guards laughed in relief. Princess, said one guard, you shouldn't be out past the border in the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. Or ghost stories, replied Ariel. Plus, my sister needs this medicine. Ariel and Flounder rushed to the palace with the glowing flowers. In no time, the doctor had made a fresh batch of night lily tea. Ariel brought the tea to her sister. Soon, Andrina felt so much better that she couldn't stop talking. She told anyone who would listen just how brave Ariel was. 
and how she had saved the day. What a great story. I really like the part when Ariel didn't quite understand something. She was curious and brave and determined to find out more. And as us moms know, that's part of what being a princess is all about. I hope the whole family will be back for another story soon. And remember, until then, you're always a princess if you dream big.